Hey, what's going on guys? Lost with Custom Offsets. Today I'm joined with Rainy and we're gonna be going over some truck transformations. We haven't done one of these in a hot minute. Uh, we put out a blast on social media. I told you guys to send in your truck transformations to tvicustomoffsets.com and we're gonna rip through this email. I think we got five today. If you guys wanna be featured in a future one, you guys can send that in as well to tvicustomoffsets.com. Otherwise, if you need wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, performance, literally anything for your truck, customoffsets.com, let's hop to it. All right, oh, I know who this is. It's Lifted White Rado. I liked it like that, that was a good look. That's, that's stock. Yep, that's not a bad look. Stock Silverado, no. It looks nice. Boom! You got the old acorns, got that lift kit. Oh, shit, Fox coilovers. Yeah, so when I shot it, I don't think he had the Fox coilovers. He's got the new Archon uh, wheels as well. I haven't seen this thing in a little while. I shot it last summer, I think, and he just continues to keep adding and adding and adding. You see the amp steps, a super, super clean truck. Uh, he's got a bunch of decals on the back window and just overall a very nice, clean, Newer Silverado. Yeah, and I like these newer Silverados, like not, not like a crazy amount, but I like the way that they made the headlights and the, the grills and all that look, and having it all color matched in looks really nice, even if it is a factory option. Yeah. I like the clean and simple builds. The 14, the 18, uh, I like a lot. I just like, uh, I just like clean and simple truck, and like that nails like a really nice daily. Yeah. Which I would assume he dailies. So. Yes, yes, he drives this uh, pretty often. Uh, he was actually recently, it looked like he was out in the dunes even with it. So I think he definitely likes to- Can't air those down according to the internet. Just saying. Well, he was sending it. That's all you gotta do. We'll send these. All right, we're gonna rate these trucks and then give a additional modification. You ready? Bet. Three, two, one, eight. Six and a half. Why six and a half? Uh, it's just a simpler truck, but it's clean. So, I mean, I'm not going to rate it any lower. It's just a very simple truck. Lift kit, wheels, tires. Why'd you give yeah. it an eight? Just because of how clean it is. I know the truck personally, so I've seen it in person and just how clean it is. Um, as far as like an additional mod, I think maybe some sort of aftermarket grill, maybe some aftermarket headlights. Um, but past that, I mean, the thing's so damn clean that, you know, I would hate to see a huge bumper, aftermarket bumper toss on this. I think just something clean like that. I know there's a lot of love-hate relationship with tow mirrors on, on 1500s and stuff, but you know, if you were to go with even some boost auto tow mirrors with the switchbacks and everything, yep. something a little more custom to bring it to that next level. Baby spider. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, it is a baby spider. Was a baby spider. What uh, mod would you give them next? Uh, I don't know. That's a hard one um, because like, I'd like to agree with like the grill or the headlights, but I almost think it'd throw off how clean the front end is. And I was thinking like maybe a bumper, if you could find a bumper like Bankers on his truck, but that's also hard to find as like a clean, like tight to the body, not a huge Jay Lemmich and bumper. There you go, Brian. You made it around in the episode. All right, let's hop into the next one. Ooh. All right. This, this Blake Scott, Ellis's truck? Jeez. <laughs> Scott Isaacs. 07 Dodge Ram 1500. Top picture is a three inch body lift and leveling kit, 20 by nine ultras and 33s. Bottom picture, six inch rough country lift with three inch body, 20 by 12 vision bombs and 38, 13 and a half boggers. Two inch spacers, all color match headlights, bumpers, door handles, over 11 years of getting it to where it is and he's still not done. Jesus, that is a hell of a come up. That's pretty rowdy. Like from where it started to where it is now, that is definitely like not the ideal setup. And that thing looks hot. All right, rate it. Mm. Rate the transformation. Three, two, one, eight. Seven and a half. That's a hell of a change up. Yeah. Um, I wasn't, before I seen the, uh, the transformation, I was like, I hope he changed a lot because that thing is ugly. You know, it's like starting with like my work truck, you know, like you go from like something that's really nothing special where this one already has stuff done and it makes it look worse, in my opinion. Sure. And then you go to that and you're like, that ain't even the same truck. Yeah. Everything being color matched, no more chrome, no more, you know, gaudy black, no more ugly wheels. You don't have 33s on like a six inch lift. Yeah, and I, I really like, uh, 
I really like how he went with like a white and blue theme. White and blue always clashes so well. You can see it on the rear track bars, you can see it on the on the upper and lower control arms, and then when with the white on the Rough Country cross member, the blue in the in the grill. Uh, like you said, got rid of the black, so got rid of the black toe mirrors, you know, color match those, some fender flares, and I think even better, so we're so wrapped up in, you know, 24 14s, 26 16s, 33, like all this, the fact that he went with a 20 inch wheel still, but mm -hmm. stuffed in 38 inch boggers, yeah. I don't see people doing that. It gives you like the nice throwback to like the old, like 15 by 14 Barts and the, the the big bog or yeah. with that. Yeah. But it's got a nice modern twist to it to where they are still 20s. Yeah. I like light, it. Light bar, in the, light bar in the bumper, yeah. This transformation, it's pretty sick. Nice work, Scott. Next up on our list, Tyler59. Oh my God. Oh, he's from Canada, eh? Give it a rest, eh? Cummins? There's the Cummins you've been looking for. Ooh. Uh, some sort of aftermarket headlights. Yeah. Put a little hood scoop action. Let's see that transformation. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell happened to your grill? You gotta show off that fancy ass the front mount. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the grill, but we'll get to that. You don't need one when you're running a big ass front mount. The uh, taillights look hot. What was that, some forces? Got the polished joints. Oh, the fuels. Got the, uh, looks like he blacked, cab. Bla blacked out his cab lights. Black like headlights. He went with a better uh, hood. Hell yeah, got a nice cowl hood on there. Got the toe mirrors out. Got to have those out. This thing's kind of sick. I actually prefer third gen mega cabs over fourths because a setup like that looks so much better, in my opinion. Their bumpers are super bubbly, but... You just counter it with a roll pan in the rear. In the front end shots, though, the front end shots make it look okay. Or like the side shots, it seems like it comes out so far, like some of these aftermarket options, but past that, and it's probably put a ranch hand on there. Looks like he uh, debadged it. Yeah, dude, no badge gang. No badge gang. All right, let's rate this thing. All right, let's go. All right, three, two, one, eight, eight. and a half. Yeah, that thing is a huge transformation going from, you know, your Napa Auto Parts hood scoop, the cheap fender flares, Cheap headlights, now it's all color matched, debadged, tinted. Got the billet johnnies on there, it's wider. Yeah. I don't know if you really want any more than that. I think uh, you hit the nail on the head, but I think the biggest one that really sent me over was the hood, the big hood transformation. Yep. Like insanely, you know, made this thing look so much better. So although it already was a very good transformation, seeing that hood and then seeing the color match, the debadging just, Cleaning everything up, I mean, that thing is ready to pull up at shows and... Yep. What uh, what mod would you give this? Mm, I would do a simple grill, like something just to fill out. Like you keep the factory one, but like just have someone cut you some some steel pieces to put in the grill and then uh, get them powder coated and throw them in. I'm gonna go with a tonneau cover. Yeah? Keep all the out of the bed. Yeah. Just because I can't think of anything crazy that I would do. I, I really dig this transformation and setup. So I think give her a tonic cover and boom, you're ready to rock. Boom shakalaka. All right, next up we have Will Palmer. Hi, I'm responding to your Instagram story. I have a 2018 F250 XLT. I've attached my before and after pictures. The build is still in progress, but those TIS wheels and Fury Country Hunters really make it pop. Uh, leveled on 37s with plans to run a six inch lift, TIS 544, black and milled, Fury Country Hunter RTs. That's the before. Yup, nice clean truck. Nice clean stock XLT, boom! Yeah, it's hard to not enjoy seeing one of those mildly done up. They just, any mods you do to that truck, it just takes it so well, like a blacked out grill, the light bar, uh, not the ideal location for it, but um, you remove the Pirates logo that's below it and you put it down there and you take the Pirates thing and hang it in your garage. Um, but it looks good. Yeah. I, 37's on a level is rowdy. I'm curious if you had a trim for that or not. Yeah. All right, let's rate it. Three, two, one, six. six. I think it's a solid start. You even mentioned yourself that you have plenty to do yet and that you're just getting started. Nothing wrong with that. You did some wheels and tires on a leveling kit and I think it looks rowdy. 
Uh, and I'm excited to see the next time, once it's all done up, you send it in with that stock photo in your next setup. And that thing's gonna be crazy. What's a mod you do? Man, that's a tough one. I was thinking 37 on a level, I'd wanna lift it because it is a bigger tire than factory. Debating if I wanna say maybe just make the bumpers black. Or white, color match the... Or white. Uh, I would, you know what? I would color match the mirrors and the door handles and the badge. Okay, I would do those first. But it's one of those while you're in there, you might as well do the bumpers. Yeah. So that's I would, what I, I was would color match. That was kind of what I was thinking. Color match the front bumper. I think as you take a look from right to left, everything flows so well. And then there's the front end, and then there's like the license plate cover and the and the light bar and the black grill with the chrome bumper with the white paint with the clear headlights. It's just a lot going on. Yep. So I would say either like custom headlights with white, you know, inserts you know, white painted inserts, or, you know, color match that grill and that bumper. Hell yeah. Overall solid truck. Last but not least on our list. Lisa the F-250. Lisa the F-250. Before you say anything, let's just rate it. We're gonna do that. Before you say it, and then you can give your spiel. All right. Three, two, one, seven. Six. I'm not a fan of the big ass aftermarket bumpers. This one's just huge. It looks like a barge bumper. Yeah. Um, I do like that the grill got color matched and then the center section got blacked out. I like the Harley Davidson uh, Eagle Eye headlights. Um, I'm torn on the whole black and, and white on like the mirror end and then like the, the bumper strip, but it also ties in with the door handle, so I'm torn on that. But yep. the only thing I don't think I like is the, uh, the bumper. Yeah. I think that you could have. Uh... Went up a couple, you know, inches on the wheel, or maybe even the tires. It looks like there's a lot of gap that could be filled here. At the end of the day, you got some nice Archons, got some nice tires. You're sitting on a pretty decent sized lift. Yeah. So you want thing to improve? Next mod, different mm. bumper. Yeah. And if let's say you like your bumper, I would say window tint on the windshield. Or color match that big bumper. Might make it look a little bit better. Honestly, it probably would, because then you wouldn't see all the the depth to it being black on a white truck. Yeah. Having a white I might honestly help. Yeah, overall nice truck. Obviously we didn't see any details, so we don't know exactly, uh, you know, any sort of setups for you guys wondering sizes or anything like that, but you can check out uh, Lisa the F-250 on the gram. Hell yeah. Hey, that's what we got for you guys on today's episode of Truck Transformations. If you guys wanna be featured, send in your transformations to TV at customoffsets.com. We're always going through that email and checking your guys' transformations. And once we notice a bunch, we can make a video for you guys. So definitely send in your uh, submissions there. Once again, if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, performance, literally anything for your truck, customoffsets.com. See you in the next one. That's a wrap. Yeah. What kind of wrap? Yeah.